in our series of talking about the different personas of DNS and cybersecurity. We've talked about DNS as a facilitator. Today we're going to talk about DNS as a hostage, and later we'll talk again about DNS as a weapon. When we think about DNS as a hostage, it's really about DNS being a naive messenger. DNS tunneling as a concept is, the best analogy I can think of is, is uh, VPN over DNS. I can create a communication pathway between a client, malware for instance, and a server, in this case a DNS server, to send messages back and forth. For instance, I can exfiltrate data. For instance, I can request commands from command and control if I'm a botnet, for instance. Multiple types of messages can be sent back and forth. It's basically a VPN connection over DNS. When we actually look at the queries, the data that goes back and forth, we often see um, pretty interesting looking queries. Of course, there's a domain, maybe subdomains, but usually we'll see a whole bunch of data in that uh, host record itself. Most likely, we're querying for text records, because when we query for text records, we can send a whole bunch of information and arbitrary information back. Importantly, we'll see a series of queries. They'll be different. They have to be different because of things like DNS caching. Each of these things need to be unique. They tend to be long. There tend to be many, many unique characters in them. Sometimes these sorts of domains are perfectly valid, though. You see it, for instance, with uh, antivirus vendors and others that use um, DNS as a, as a mechanism to send messages back and forth. So what makes these odd? How can we spot these things? Certainly, we can look for characteristics of the domain themselves. But what gets really interesting and powerful is when we look at patterns, multiple queries coming together. Are we seeing queries come out every minute or in some fashion that looks like beaconing because I'm looking for commands? Should I do something? Should I do something? Should I do something? Finally, the DNS server might respond with a command to execute, for instance. Um, I can look also for um, patterns that demonstrate um, file exfiltration. I can look at things like query size. I can decode text records. There's all sorts of ways to analyze a series of queries coming from a single client to understand if tunneling is happening. The key is stopping it.